This week I did not go on vacation, but I did some work which made it seem like vacation. Hey you, my name is Ilya and welcome to the weekly Wednesday vlog. Some of you know that I am a mountain guide among other things, which means I get to be in nature a lot, which is something I enjoy. And even though it may seem kind of laid back and vacation-y, it can be very demanding. This week I spent four days in the south of the country in Herzegovina, taking 12 tourists from Britain and a couple other countries around the country. We did some water sports, we did some hiking, we had a great time but it can be very stressful because I have to take care of all the logistics, I have to make sure everyone's safe and secure, everybody's happy, and plus I do some of the hiking tours myself. I don't think I've counted to 12 that many times in my life, much less in one day. But I'm here to talk about this little beast which I've mentioned off and on in my videos quite a bit because it's a very cheap Xiaomi action camera, definitely not the equivalent of a GoPro. And even though there have been times where I've been disappointed with the quality of video or pictures it produces, sometimes I'm actually surprised at how well it does. I guess the key to it is as long as there's enough light, it makes really crisp photos with great color and great detail. Detail. If there's less light than it needs, then it kind of gets into the bad side with blurry photos, weird ISO as in grain in the photos. Now obviously you don't take your big bulky camera to do water sports and buying a case specifically for that not only makes it even bulkier and heavier which is more difficult for any type of sports, but the case itself, if it's of good quality, it's gonna cost you several hundreds of dollars or euros at least. And so they made these little action cameras. Actually, the original GoPro isn't even that bad these days. It's relatively cheap compared to the first versions of it. But I'm still here with my old Xiaomi. And this is not like a professional photo gig or anything. I like to do these guys a favor whenever I'm leading a tour, take a couple pictures on the side, just so they have some memories of what happened. And speaking of, speaking of the best camera to have with you, my phone, which I usually dislike, I took some pretty good photos with it on the hikes when I didn't have this guy with me. And it fulfilled its purpose. It created a memory, it created a beautiful image which people can have with them. And whenever they see it, they'll remember their amazing experience. The best camera is the one in your pocket is a statement that's thrown around a lot. And it's kind of contradictory because because obviously the best camera is the one you've invested months of work into or however way you got it because it has the best specs and it'll get you the best results. If you don't have a camera, it's better to have some camera than no camera. So maybe that quote should kind of be rephrased into, I don't even know, like it's better to have a camera than no camera. But suffice it to say, we should get beyond the mentality that if you don't have your pro go-to camera with you, it's not the end of the world. You can still take photos, you can still take good photos because I will be posting some of these on my Instagram and people know that I'd like to keep the quality, at least the technical quality of my photos on Instagram um, pretty high. And it's not like I'm gonna replace my primary cameras with these little cheap guys just because they can go anywhere I want them to but I do have something like this thrown into my bag at all times just in case something goes wrong and I can use them as backup or if I do need a shot that I can't get with a big bulky camera and I have one of these I guess the bottom line is you might be surprised how often these do a really good job because technology has just gotten that far. I've kind of been refusing mobile photography for a long time, namely because I had really crap phones and even the one I have right now is definitely not the best one out there. But I can say that once in a while it makes an image that I am very happy with. Thank you guys for watching my little rant. I'm gonna see you guys next week. Next week there's no camps, so there's not gonna be this office anymore or the barn. We're getting back to regular videos.